On this episode of Robot Psychic, the beginning suggestion for our opening scene is crabs. If you'd like to leave a suggestion for the next scene, leave it in the comments below. Mm, mm. Oh yum, my god, this mm. this Joe's Crab Shack is amazing. Oh, this is a, such a great place. I can't believe we haven't come sooner. Oh, the butter that they give you, I mean, mm. can't get enough. Yeah, hey, can't get enough. Excuse me, waiter, could we get some more butter? Could we just get like three plates of butter? Yeah, please? like hold the crab uh, and just we want more butter. Yeah, yeah. Can we actually get the the Grand Slam crab meal except just all butter? Yeah, and those fried cheese sticks, we we like a big old vat of those. But instead of the cheese, just just put put in butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah, if you could like uh, refill our water bottles with pitchers, except uh, instead of water, maybe just maybe just butter. Mm-hmm. And, and it, it's getting pretty warm out here. We shouldn't have sat on the deck. Can you uh, can you lather us up with some uh, with some good mm-hmm. old butter? Yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and take off my shirt. Yeah, see here. This is my, uh, yep. This mm-hmm. is my body. Mm-hmm. I'd like you to place uh, just a lot of butter on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That feels better. Thank you. You know what's better than this? Hmm. That brand new episode of... Robot! Start it! Ready! Go, go, go! Welcome to Robot Psychic, yes. the show about anything and everything. everything. My name is JC Carlson. I am your host. And with me today is a return guest all the way from New York City. I can say that now. I guess, yeah. Is this your first time back from New York City? Doing uh, a podcast? I think so. Yeah, we did one with you when you guys left. I don't think we did one when you guys yeah, came no, back. Yeah, no, did not do I was a gone. return one. Man. No. Back for the first time. Back, baby. Although we did do an episode where you were already back or something. Didn't we do that? Oh, yeah. I think the episode was pretending that I came <laughs> yeah, back. Yeah, you were already back or you'd already left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But with us again, Mr. Andy Vega. Oh, good to be back, oh, JC. Andy, I miss you so much. I miss you too, dude. Everyone says that, but I'm the only one that means it. I yeah, think you I know. know that. Everyone else is a liar. They just they they want a piece of your fame. I just want a piece of your friendship. I know, and here we are sharing our hearts, talking into mics. It's great. Yeah, I'm not using you for ratings. No, of course that'd be. Crazy. Why would I? Because I'm. You don't rate podcasts, except if you do, you leave a five star on iTunes. Everybody do that. Do it and subscribe. <laughs> and uh, so it's great <laughs> to have you back, man. Good to be back, Jason. You have been busy. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, on to the next question. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Uh, so you've been living in New York City, going to college. I do. I go to college. Yep. Going where to we the... do lots of collages. And you're studying. What do you study? Have you figured that out yet, dude? I don't know. Yeah, but you're doing theater. Uh, yeah, I was in a musical recently. Awesome. Yes. No need to plug that because it's over. It's over, so I'm not even going to talk about it. Was it was a one-time show, and you missed it. You missed it, and it's gone, and you're never going to see it again. Unless but it ever shows, it shows up, up on up YouTube, again, yeah, YouTube. I heard there's a YouTube Which would be illegal, series. so I don't know anything about that. Yeah, you got to get rights for that kind of stuff, yeah. don't you? But, uh, but you've also been doing some comedy while you're there. Mm-hmm. Mm, I mean, you've been studying at uh, a very famous organization called... Fordham. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Fordham University. <laughs> I was going with the con. <laughs> I thought we were talking about comedy. I was. Um, <laughs> it's funny. So, uh, yeah, you've been going to UCB, taking classes. Yeah. You're about halfway through-ish? I don't know. Something like that. It's hard to tell with all these So many classes. classes. <laughs> More like scams. Yeah. Oh. High five. <laughs> nice, Improv dude. is a money-grabbing scam, people. It really people. is. We but only we want, love it. Yeah, oh, God. I've spent so much money. Oh, man. Oh, the money I've spent. I'm going to sneeze. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, we'll man. <laughs> you I'll trickster. You. Next time I think it's going to happen, I'll still warn you. Yeah, well, you'll stop. That's the whole trick to yeah, sneezing, yeah. right? That is the trick. You can stop whenever you want. Never is let it, anyone yeah. tell you that you have to sneeze. But you announce that you're gonna sneeze right never tell them you that announce you, it you have to but you announce that you're going to sneeze and then you know inside that you won't of course that's and then how, that's that's how that's how the magic how of sneeze, sneeze works. works yeah magic sneeze so you've been you've been studying there and then you've also been hanging out with our good friend justin my best friend yes and oh, okay. uh, yeah and uh what and, now why would you think he's your best friend well, he can't be yours <laughs> You live here. Yeah, so I mean, we 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 snap, in Arizona. We Snapchat. Are you best friends on Snapchat? Yeah, best friends. I actually we know for a fact you're not because I think I'm best friends with him on Snapchat. Uh, there's it's a different Snapchat. It's a different Snapchat. Yeah, it's it's a newer version of. Uh, we're on the. So it's not Snapchat then. No. What do you what are you best friends with him on? 
you know, a, a quick pick. Quick pick? Yeah, quick pick. That sounds fake and awful. No, no, yeah, it's it's. Are uh, you tearing you, up? No, I, it's. You look really sad. So you you guys have been doing comedy. Okay, yeah. And no, uh, you should you definitely should pivot away from yeah, whatever we were talking about. Yeah. That was bad and you. you guys have been uh performing together here and there in yeah. some bar spots yeah, yeah. in New York City. This is true. Uh f- some shows being with your brother. Yes. Famous stand up comedian and show producer in New York City. Utterly famous, everybody. Danny Vega, follow him on whatever. Probably Twitter is what he would want us to say. Yeah, I don't remember what his name is on Twitter. It used to be Danny Vega Sucks. I feel like he changed that. I think he did recently. Yeah. Yeah. He's changing his branding. Yeah? I don't know. Oh. But he's uh, he's also got a Facebook page. He's got a Facebook Danny page. Vega. Yeah, I guess we'll freaking promote my brother. Yeah, he... oh, he's doing such a good job in yeah. New York City, man. This is Danny. This is only because you gave us that one show at a bar in Brooklyn. Oh. Everyone, go like Danny Vega comedy. He's, Follow Danny Vega sucks. He's everywhere. Yep. He's on that uh, BuzzFeed channel. Uh, yeah, Tell yeah. Mundo, what is it? <laughs> Flama. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Um. You can follow his. He has two specialty Instagrams. <laughs> you can follow the Coffee Bro. I'm pretty oh, sure there's so an good. underscore. So you can good. also follow Party of Two. That's him and his yes. girlfriend, who are who's Amazing. also named Danny. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's a little fun. It is fun. <laughs> yeah, man. And they uh, review food. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's that. Just food. Just food. Okay. Does that make how you, does how does, does that how, make you uncomfortable? It, um, no, it, but. It does make me curious. How does it work? What? So, is there a is there a website that I can go to? Rate it's an foods? Instagram. Okay. You know, I understand that there's an Instagram where they rate food, mm-hmm. but I mean, uh, why? I don't. They. It's fun. It's a fun hobby. They're foodies. Mm-hmm. They like to take pictures of the food and talk about it. Help out businesses. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why are you so perplexed? No, by it's this? just I, I'm I'm just surprised that it's it's a big thing. It's all it's just rating food. I mean, I mean it's not really like a huge thing. I mean, it sounds like they're pretty successful right now. It's just. I mean, they have an Instagram. Yeah, I mean, how much do they have to pay? Are for you that? jealous of my? No, what? I know it's they great. They don't pay. It's Instagram's great. I'm a happy, free service. I'm happy for Danny. How you know? many He's... social medias do you not understand? Let's explore this. I mean, uh, wait, are you wait. on Facebook? Of course I am. I have my business. What page. color is Facebook? White. <laughs> are you okay? I have my business page there where everyone likes my profile pictures, and my top eight is wow. Okay, you're booming. mixing a lot. Okay, so I think when you say business page, you're you're I think you're confusing LinkedIn. Link what and uh, top eight? That's like a MySpace that was gone maybe maybe over mm-hmm. a decade ago. No, because that's how old are you? Fa- uh, I post my 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 stories there. They're like five second stories, and then this is bad. Yeah, and then people you know sh- like them. And Jason, share. you have a problem. What dude. I don't I, I don't understand what the problem. is. You're just like hyper uneducated about social media. <laughs> just about <laughs> social media. That's the best compliment I've ever had. Thank you. What, that wasn't a compliment. I'm like worried uh, about you. No. You're like you're a millennial. You should know these things. Aren't you a millennial? I don't know. I, I think, think I'm technically are. Generation Z or whatever. Is there a difference? Like a big difference, or are they kind of categorize? I'm the like same one group? under you. I know. I Most understand. people just call me a millennial. I think. Yeah, I think so too. Do you like being called a millennial? You know, it really makes me mad. Oh, how I get really angry. I'm like, don't you throw me in a group like that. I'm my own individual what, human. What's what's funny about that is people talk to millennials right in, about millennials right in front of me in yeah. bad ways and then I, like at work or like in the fa- my family You're or whatever. A and I'm sitting there I'm like, guys, I'm a millennial. <laughs> like what yeah. what are you talking about? It's like everyone, like up to like thirty. I feel like thirty. I think yeah. I think it's like eighty five all the way to ninety eight, two thousand. That would make sense. So you, would you be millennial? Yeah, yeah by yeah. those numbers, I would. It's about it's about that range, like right up until the the new. But I mean, even but I mean, <laughs> the Jesus, new thousand. <laughs> the new thousand. Like we have seventeen year olds about to be eighteen year olds from the new thousand. That's crazy. That is wild. You were almost in that category yeah i was but i i popped right out thank goodness i got out before that crazy <sighs> shit went oh, down man, that, you remember that you remember, war? Yeah, you remember, I remember the, war. the war of 2000 Ugh. that was horrifying 
I really was. My parents were legit scared about it. Really? Yeah, I remember they weren't they weren't like full on bunker mode or anything yeah. like that, but they were like, "Hey, if anything happens, we're just we're going to spend this New Year's at home." That's funny. And I remember they started stocking up on water and like that was the first time I think I ever saw my dad's shotgun. I was just like, what? "Whoa, like what's That's happening?" Funny. And then I guess that makes it because everyone was probably freaking out, and then that because just makes it, more people it, freak what, out. It it sounds like a funny like almost you know rapture type deal yeah. where people were like, "Oh no!" It, and people, but it was like a legit thing. Had they not like actively tried to prevent it, it could have happened. Right. I think, but I think people exaggerated and said, "Yeah, two thousand nukes are going off." And it's just yeah. like, no, it's not that, but it could. There could be some like internet and like financial issues because mm-hmm. of the change, but they fixed it. They fixed it. Yeah. More, most importantly, I fixed it at yes. three years old. You were you were the the golden child. I was everyone and and you were a millennial. I was a millennial. I, and you did it. I came. I uh, I was born and I said I'm a millennial now and I'm gonna save the world three years from today. And then they all said, those millennials, they think they're just entitled to be whatever they want to be. Yeah, that stereotype started immediately after I saved the world. Yeah, that's why they call you Andy Millennial Millennial Vega. Millennial Vega, I don't know. I mean, it's a catchy nickname, at least. It's very catchy. It's a very catchy nickname. It is. What's the next step for you, then? The next step for me? You've saved the world. You're going to college. Is this like a lead up to something bigger? Oh, wow. Um... Yeah, I guess I'd uh, uh, I'd like to own. Okay. I would just like to have a mortgage on the moon. The moon. Yes. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, um, you know something yeah. small, nothing too big, but I'd like to live on the moon. How much? How much do you think it would cost to live on the moon? Like four. Okay. You I, know, uh, I think that'd be great. Yeah, um, Elon Musk and SpaceX they just uh, released uh, how much it would cost to just to pay for a ticket to get to the moon. It was like. I don't know, like thirty-five million. Or thirty-five something million. Like that. Yeah, I could probably, I could probably scratch. That was that. just to get to the moon. I can't even imagine living there. Real and yeah, and I don't want to rent either. I want to own. No, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna go there, so, you gotta, you gotta own. Yeah, I'm gonna own if I'm gonna go to the moon. So yeah, I'll get thirty-five mil, and then I'll bring four, and I'll freaking, I'll buy a space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In space. In moon dollars. Yeah. Because I mean, the 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 American dollar is much it's, higher than the moon dollar. Yeah, it's much higher, and also a lot of people don't accept it on the moon. Really? A lot of people don't know that. They don't they don't accept the American dollar on the moon. I didn't know that. It's actually yeah, a lot of people don't know that. You, you can't accept the American dollar on the moon. Oh. Cuz they say this isn't America, this is the moon. Yeah. So you obviously. go back to your your little hippy dippy earth shit yeah. where you think America's the greatest because this is the moon. Do you think one day our president will build a wall between the earth and the moon? I think he already has. Has he? I really do. Oh wow. He's being very very smart with his money then, I guess, huh? Yeah, he's a good businessman. Great businessman. He really is. The best. I mean, he does it better than than anybody, he says. I've never seen a better one. I haven't. You're right. Absolutely right. Show yeah. me one better businessman. Hmm. I mean, I could show you a picture of him, but it would just be Yeah, see, again. but the thing oh, is, God. that's just him. I know. That's the just, thing. I, I don't know. Everyone I, always says that. They're like, yeah, I could show you a better one, and they show a picture of him. I'm like, you don't get it. That's that, a picture of the same and guy. And that's also a paradox, isn't it? It's so a paradox. I mean, it's a conundrum. Ugh, it's a, a hypocrisy. Yeah. It's a hypocrisy. It's a metaphor. It's a I mean, metaphor. it's a, it's a little bit of everything. It's a simile. It's a run-on <laughs> sentence at this point. <laughs> it's a run-on sentence, and a, it's a goddamn glorified existence yes how's that not a song glorful it's a existence or, or it's a run on sentence and a glorful existence. existence how would that go start us off <laughs> it's a run on sentence and a glorful existence spinning round and round until you smell that clown and you, you say stay? You, you smell <laughs> that clown, and, and he smells bad. Oh, you too is gonna make that into millions. Wow, yeah, they're gonna cash out. Oh, cash him outside. How about that? Nice, dude. You is like that a that? meme? Yeah. Do you know what memes are? Yep, uh, they're those little images that go for like a couple seconds. And they keep like looping and looping and looping. Okay, no, yep. that's a yep, that's a it. gif or a gif or a gif. Which which one do you call it? Um, <laughs> I, like, I, say, I say 
what do I say? GIF. So the creators, say GIF. yeah, the creators say it's a GIF, but everyone else. Interesting. But I don't think that, it's up to them because it's. Yeah, I mean, it stands for something. It's right? graphic image. Yeah, they don't have uh, a right to say how it's pronounced. Something else, I can't remember. Yeah, you know what's interesting? My roommate, Paul Novak3 on Twitter, everybody, follow him. <laughs> Shout just, out. Yeah, man, all these he, people. He specifically spells it out every time so he doesn't G-I-F. start a controversy. Yeah, he says GIF. I mean, I, I mean, it's an, a- it's an acronym. It's an acronym. It's I like think. LOL. It's like LOL. If you say LOL, I mean, I guess some people do say LOL, but that's kind of odd. Well, I mean, it would be odd if you said LOL. I guess yeah, we shouldn't ever say these things. I mean, if you do, if you do say, I think people say lol. Yeah. What do you think about this, JC? What okay. if any anything that we say on the internet can only be said on the internet? Do you think that should be a law? Yeah, I think racism wouldn't exist. Wow. That's uh, actually in the real very world, powerful. in the real world, on yeah, the internet, people it would, are... it would just be rampant with it. Interesting. Yeah, because the internet definitely is more racist. Oh, I think then as, people as, in real life. As soon as you have some sort of cover where no one can, there's no repercussions to what you say. Right. That's when people. If I don't people even, did the things they said in YouTube comments, yeah, what exactly. world would we live oh, in? I mean, the world would be over because I'm pretty sure at one point someone said, "I'm going to kill everybody." Definite. That has definitely yeah. been said. If yeah, we search, absolutely. "I want to kill everybody," we will find a comment. Yep, absolutely. And I feel like, I feel like. What do you feel? Tell us. Then this is just my opinion. And listeners, perfectly listeners, okay. you can't get mad. Nobody get mad at JC. It's his opinion. This is my opinion. It's his opinion. If if you get upset by what I'm about to say, whether it's racist, sexist, bigoted, he can whatever, say, I can w- say because whatever he wants. Because I am saying, in my opinion, it's his opinion. In my own personal IMO opinion, IMHO, IMHO. Would we say I, I hum? I'mo. I'mo. I'm a hoe. Are you a hoe, JC? No. Okay. Let's see, but I mean, we have to figure that one out. We'll figure Jeez. it out. I want to hear your. Opinion. But in my honest opinion, I feel like people are more racist on the internet only because they think like, ah, oh, this is a place to get out aggression and just like let it all out yeah. and like you know what I mean, like you know how. When people have that chance to destroy something and they go fucking crazy, mm-hmm. they're like, all right, good thing we did it here. I feel like that's the internet and people go more than they actually are only because they're just like, ugh, ugh, frustration, aggression, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm sure if they go back and read it, they're just like, oh. A little bit of a man. regret. Oh, yeah. They go into like internet rage. Yeah. I mean, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. To but say of course, these are just our opinions. So, <laughs> go get your own. Is go the get old, your own. Uh, is the old. You should uh, do a segment saying, called JC's opinion. Go get your own. <laughs> and then at the end, you always say hashtag Go get your own. Hashtag these go are get my your opinions. Own. I like that. I do too. Ggyl bro. Ggyl my G-G-Y-L, bro. Ggyl bro. So let's get back to the real story. Are okay. you are you a hoe? No. You okay? Well, here's the thing. I, I used to be. Okay. Yeah, I mean, okay. I've I, I've done my gardening in my day. How many? How many gardens? Gardens? I mean, at least four gardens. Four gardens. Four fully, fully bloomed gardens. What I sort mean. of? What sort of produce? Oh, I mean, we <laughs> we had all sorts of produce. All I mean, sorts. We, I mean, we had some, you know, potatoes. Potatoes. We had some sprouts. Wow. I love the sprouts. Uh, oh, I love myself a good, good garden soybean. Garden, oh, oh, like garden, garden of soybean. soybean. I mean, I mean, the list goes on and on. Right. But, um, but I, I would say my heyday was uh, probably a good old tomato. Wow. Oh. And did you have hay? <laughs> hey. 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 Did no, you? I never did hay. Never did hay. Never no. did hay. No, I never Too got bad. into the hay business. Too bad. You know, sometimes if you really, you really dig deep, uh huh, you can find a needle in a haystack. So you're saying dig under the haystack. You dig and come up from underneath. Right. If you dig deep enough, you will find a haystack. Okay. And within that haystack, if you dig by the deep. laws of nature, you will find a needle. Yeah, you're right. I guess if you as long as you're digging with a magnetic yeah, shovel. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no shit. Shovel has to be magnetic. Of course. How come that hasn't been invented yet? The magnetic shovel. The magnetic shovel. That's actually finding gold would be a lot. Well, gold's brilliant. not magnetic, is it? Yeah, I mean, I guess a metal detector, the whole point of it is so that you don't have to dig unless you know there's metal. True. But why? 
a metal detector just... that's also a shovel. There so you you're go. going around, and then you know there's metal. You don't have to get your shovel out because you already have a shovel because it's the metal detector shovel. <laughs> what if the whole time the metal detector shovel's going off because the shovel's at the end of the metal detector? Oh, yeah, the shovel's like, also very so metal. There's so much stuff here. And it's always going off. Oh, that's such a good idea. We could sell that. It's good. We could definitely sell it. People would buy it. They'd be It works 100% of the time. Always detects metal. It does. Wow, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. good. good we product. can make that claim. We can make. We're that making claim. that claim, and it is not an opinion. So you can't deny it. You can't deny. No matter it. what you think. These are facts, people. Real facts. Real life facts. Have you ever used a fax machine? I love faxing. Really? I mean, there's nothing more fun than putting attention to on a piece of paper. Putting what? Okay, you've never used a fax machine. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is, I have to tell you something, JC. Yeah, are, are, I... Is this the exclusive you were talking about earlier? Yeah. All right, let's Okay, hear it. I'm glad we're like decently into the podcast because now the people, only the true fans, the true listeners, the are listening true right listeners now. will actually hear this revelation. I have never used a fax machine oh in my, my life. God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I thought, I bro, I thought you. I thought you were cool. I know, dude. And that's the thing. I thought I was cool, too. Dude, let's just do it now. Let's fax something. Are you serious? Like, why not? Who's going to stop us, right? JC, this would mean the world to me. You're like, what would you, I'm not going to narc. you going to narc? Why would I narc? If you're letting me fax, I mean, I ain't going to fucking narc. And once you're a faxer, you can't go back, sir. Oh, my God, dude. You can't go back, once sir. Fa- you can't go back, sir. <laughs> yep. That's the old saying. I know. So, uh, all right. So, here we go. Um, so, on the front page oh wow oh, how many pages did you want to fax one two okay. no two. let's do two let's do two okay so we need three pages then because the first page is it's the call page so just kind of saying where it's from attention to so the place knows oh my god who it's going to who do you want to fax it's like the subject line of yeah, an exactly. email email but I get it but you have to send that email to a company and then say basically forward this to the person that i want to see <laughs> That's how. Oh wow, works. man! I really, I really don't understand this. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> cool. Yeah. It's, that's okay. Basically so it. who I'd like to send a fax? Um, uh, who should I send a fax to? Um, you know, let's send a fax to my father. Your father? Yeah. Senor Vega. Senor Doctor Vega. Ooh, Doctor Senor Vega. Doctor Senor Vega. All right. So yeah. So uh, we're gonna write Doctor Senor Vega here, okay. right on the front. Attention to, um, and you can it'll have the the call information there, and then uh, we're gonna put it in this fax machine. Okay, it looks like a printer, but it doesn't right. normally. And just, that's the yeah. thing about fax machines is they're not printers. And there's a phone on here too, but we don't answer the. You phone. You don't answer that phone. Don't answer the phone ever, because usually that. if a fax machine rings, it means a fax it means is coming a fax in. is coming. Yeah, I get it's that. Coming in. Uh, so uh, we're gonna type in the number. Always dial nine first. Nine and then one, one. one if it no no just just nine just nine and then one. Okay. Why am I thinking nine one one? I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Uh, and then so we're gonna type the number because this is going long distance, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we're gonna hit enter. 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 And then you'll hear it go. Ready? Oh wow! Ooh, look at this. Ooh, ee. Whoa, it's making a sound. All right, and then he'll receive it in about five minutes. Awesome. And then uh, once it's done sending, it'll. It'll print off a confirmation page. Just letting you know it was sent. Cool. It takes a while. So. Wow, this is really exciting. Yeah, I did it. Oh, I sent dude. a fax. Yeah. What'd you send him? I just said I love you. Oh, wow. On two yeah. pages? Two pages of it. Jeez. Over and over. How many times is that? Four. Wow, that's big font. All right, yeah. perfect. So, yeah, he'll get that. And there you go, man. You you broke. You, I did it. You're a faxer, bro. All right. Everyone who thought I sucked because I said I've never used a fax machine before, guess what? I used one now, and now I'm cool. Bro, he, he'll be faxing left and righty. Left and righty, I'd be faxing. I'd be faxing You can't say shit because you, you know I'd be Jack. I don't know. Son. Jackson. See what that sounds like? I'm saying, like, jack off, and I didn't want to say that. I mean, you just did. I guess that's true. It's okay. We bleep these out. You can say anything you want. I can and say bleeped anything out. I yeah. want. Hey, we always bleep everything All right. Out. I'm going to say something crazy, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Get ready, Brian. JC, you're a little peanut booger. Oof. How's that uh, feel? Well, they're going to bleep it out, so th- luckily they're going to have no idea what Please you bleep said. Please that out. Oh, you're <laughs> <It's> so dumb. <laughs> There's no way Brian's going to bleep that uh, out. If he doesn't bleep that out, it's going to sound much more sad. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> or sexual. You never know. Okay. Um, but Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. So what's going on, Andy? What like what's going on? You, you, I feel like you're pussy footing. Pussy's not a bad word, and um, I feel like you're just not getting to what's really happening. Sorry, in New York. <laughs> What's really happening? Yeah, I mean, come on. You're not really just going to school, right? Okay. So now the real, the true, true fans are the ones who are still I mean, listening. the later we go, the more true the fans. Oh, yeah. And this podcast, it's going to get so true that by the end, you're going to burst with non-fictional facts from your brain. This is the True to Fan podcast. True to Fan podcast. True it's to happening, fan. it's popping, and I'm here, and so is JC. Do you think True to Fan is like a chemical of some sort true to fan true to fan it sounds like like yeah it sounds like take, a right? pharmaceutical yeah take some true to fan true to fn it'll hear heal your butt <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so um okay so here's the real secret okay. and here's the reason that i made this joke is because it's always on my mind mm-hmm. in new york mm-hmm. i'm not going to school <gasps> That's right. What are your parents paying all that money for? Dude, my parents, they don't know anything. Well, Sorry, uh, Dad. I mean, your dad knows that you love him. That's he knows that I love him, and that's it. Nothing else. Oh, wow. Every day, I wake up in my dorm, but I don't go to school. How do you feel when you wake up? I feel great. Okay. What would you say you feel Except like? on the days when I'm sad. Oh. Then I don't feel oh, great. Oh, man. Well, Thank God today's not one of those days. No, today's a happy day. That's good. Yay. We have to acknowledge the happy days, don't we? Mm-hmm. Good. Thanks, JC. You're welcome. It always helps. I'm here for you. I mean, it I'm always helps sponsor. when you say that to me. That's me scratching my I didn't know we hear it. It's very <laughs> loud. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, What was I talking about? My um, days? Yeah, you're a true fan, and what you really do is oh, yeah. at school. <laughs> Here's the ball-busting, jaw-breaking, insane... Oh. What? Insane clown. Oh my god! Posse, jeez. Creation. Okay. Jaw, jaw I said that. Jaw breaking. Revelation. Revelation. I wake up every day and I don't go to school. I go across the street. <sighs> I sit in the middle of Central Park, the dead center. I sit down. Oh, I spank god. my butt twice. Oh no! Uh... And then all every single um. Hot dog salesmen uh-huh. Salesman. in the carts. Jeez. They all they all come to me, and they say thank you, and they run back. And I've slowly have just been developing this skill. That's all. Man, that's all I do. Jeez. And I mean it, that doesn't come cheap either. Oh no, of course not. It costs uh, the amount of tuition. It's sixty grand a year. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Yeah. Luckily, you're so close to Central Park. You know, yeah. If I was any further than Central Park, I'd really be digging myself into a hole Ugh. any further away. Yeah, you'd be in the red. I'd be in the red for sure. But, you know, it's been really, it's been humbling because, you mm-hmm. know, the first time you go out into the middle of Central Park and spank your butt until hot dog salesmen come to you, they don't. They don't come to you. You got you to gotta earn their respect. You got to earn their respect because New York... Uh, Nobody in New York like needs you, you know. You're just like a little guy walking around, spanking your butt in the central of Central Park, and no one cares. But, you How know, did you have to earn their respect? What did you have to do? You really, you just got to stand there and and spank your butt a lot. Okay. For long periods of time. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder. I wonder how that would go. Yeah. Hey, you. What are you doing? I'm spanking my butt. Why? Why are you doing that? Um, are you a hot dog salesman? Yeah, I am. I I couldn't help but noticing you were spanking your bottom. Yeah, yeah, no, it's actually in the middle of a uh, Central Park, nonetheless. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Pretty mysterious. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, I yeah. mean mysterious, sure, but cool. Uh, I don't know if I could buy into that. Okay, yet. well, forget I said cool. How about mysterious? Mysterious for sure. You're this definitely... is a. I'm definitely mysterious right now. Hey, yeah. Tell, tell your friends. Tell your friends. Hey, hey, Gino, come on, get over here. Hey, what's up, Gino? Check this out. And what? Oh, jeez. Hey, what is he doing spanking his bottle? I don't know, man. He was just sitting there spanking. He's just spanking? Yeah, he's spanking. Pretty mysterious, huh, Gino? Yeah, well, yeah. Why are, you, why are you spanking? Here, let me grab your face. Oh. Yeah, nice oh. and close. Oh, jeez. I can taste your ear. Can you? Tell your friends. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Tell your friends, Gino. Hey, Ricardo! He has a goal win. Uh, hey, Ricardo. Yeah. Look at this. 
Look at him, man. He's just spanking his bottom. Yeah, I can't believe what he's doing. Hey. Oh, my God. Why are you doing that? Pretty mysterious, huh, Ricardo? Oh, so mysterious. I'm going to tell all my friends. Awesome. So that's basically like wow. how. Wow, man, that's how it gets going, huh? Yeah, I lead them in. Mm -hmm. They don't understand it. And I explain how mysterious it is and how cool it is. And then they go tell their friends. I mean, I would tell my friends. Exactly. But I mean, but you're exclusively in the hot dog cart market. Yeah, they they just like like it the best. Yeah. Honestly, he was just the first guy who was there, and I was like, okay, hmm. I guess this is what I'm doing, and I've been doing that ever since. Wow. Ever since That's August. That's amazing. Thanks, man. I'm happy for you. You look happy. You definitely look. I happy. am. I'm really happy. What have you been up to? Um, you know. Psh. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, you like look. No, I'm living. I you I'm... looked down like solemnly. Uh, did for I? Probably at least three seconds. Really? Yeah, there's dead air. It's probably <sighs> uncomfortable. It felt longer. Hmm. Yeah, not not a whole uh, not a whole lot, man. I've uh, yeah. I, I've taken up cycling. Okay. Uh, like outdoors or like on a machine. Um, Outdoors, yeah, yeah. Okay. I I I cycle. It's you know it's it's complicated. Is it? Yeah, because you know you cycle. Yeah. Where do you cycle? Do you um you race just, or you're no, just like around the neighborhood just, on streets, you know, major yeah, streets, the cold sac, you know. Okay. But I mean, I go around a lot of times. Yeah, I mean, a cul-de-sac is just circular, so that's got to be pretty boring after like two or three times. Yeah, I mean, you notice a lot of things you didn't notice before. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Forty-three, by the way. Forty-three what? There's forty-three tiles of, of the concrete all around. You're the counting. Cul yeah. Well, I mean, you're you counting go, the sidewalk. You go around a lot. Helps. Hey JC, have you ever tried like maybe leaving the cul de sac? <laughs> no, I couldn't. Why not? You know, uh, there's there's curbs and stuff out there. I'm I'm not ready for that. JC, you could definitely ride your bike like on the street. I mean, I, I don't I don't feel comfortable without a bike lane. I mean, how would I know? How would I know which which way to go? If I the think bike you need to go is... out there. You need to make some mistakes, and you learn from them. I'm not like you. I can't just I can't just move to New York and slap my bottom for hot dog cart guys. That this has nothing to do with that. This is just biking on the street. I know, but it's 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 big for me. Okay. I'm just not as brave as you. Hey, kid. Yeah. Why are you crying on the sidewalk? You noticed I was crying from all the way over there. Yeah, man, you're 20 feet away from my house. Uh, I'm I'm just, I'm just riding my bike, pretty uh. Yeah, why are you crying though? Um, I. You crying a lot, like we can not, hear you. I'm sorry, I'm. I, it's it's fine. just my sobbing is, it's I'm a. I don't think I'll ever leave this cul-de-sac. I'm afraid to leave the cul-de-sac. You, uh, yeah, you should just leave, because, like, you're kind of uh, loud when you cry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'm just... Yeah, go, please. All right. Thank you. Hello again. It's, it's, just, it's a circle, because it's a cul-de-sac. Yeah, go. Keep going. I, have, I, I haven't really made it past the... What are you talking... No, you're right. I'll go. I'm sorry. When you get to the end of the circle, keep going straight. All right. Goodbye. Uh, I oh. couldn't do it. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Get it's out of just here. The, once I get to the street, it's just that dip down. Oh, you smell. I can smell your sweat. It's my tears, too. Actually, oh. I was crying the whole trip. Yeah. Uh, I just... I. Hey, kid. Yeah. You want to come inside? Really? Yeah, come inside. Meet my wife. Meet my dog. Okay, yeah. That this will help you. Thank you so come much. Come in. Here you go. Come on. Honey, the bike kid is here. He wants help. 
The one from outside? Yeah, the one from outside. Oh, poor dear. Yeah, he's very sad. Hey, kid, tell, tell my wife your story about how you're stuck on the glass. I just feel like I'm in this never-ending loop. That's and good. my fear is what's keeping me in. Yeah, oh, he feels like that. Baby. Yeah, it's because it's true, you know? I mean, yeah, he, he's I mean, out there. He's literally, he's in a loop, uh, and he's too afraid. Well, so. well, Gerald, don't forget you were afraid to leave the cold to second one point. Two. Hey, we don't talk about that. I'm just saying, you, hey. I mean, you had to, you did it. You're right. You're trying to say I've got some sort of special connection with this kid because we have similar pasts. I mean, if if, if you can do it... And I'm sure you can teach him to do it. You're, you're such a good man. Oh, thank you, honey. I love you, baby. Okay, get I'm out of here. I'm going to go eat, finish the casserole. Thank you so later. much. I'm very excited. Kid. Yeah. Sit on my lap. Oh, okay. Come here. Hi. Sit down. All right. You like Christmas. Love Christmas. You like Santa. Love Santa. Well, I don't. What? Do you know why? Why? When I was a little boy... I used to, I used to ride my bike around the cul-de-sac. Really? I would ride it round and round every Christmas Eve until 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Where were your parents? 6 a.m., 7 a.m., all the way until the next day. Well, I mean, you were already in the next day. The next, next day. Oh, so you did for 26. 30s? Oh, my gosh. Kid, I had an obsession. Okay. With the phenomenon that we know is Santa Claus. And I thought if I rode my bike around the cul-de-sac many, many times, I would catch him trying to sneak me little gifts. And did you? I never did. Do you know why? Why? Because Santa didn't love me. But here's the thing, here's the thing kid. I think you're afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid. You're afraid. I'm not afraid. You're afraid that the real world won't love you. But what you got to accept is it doesn't. And you got to go out there in spite of it all. And you show the real world that you don't love it either. And that you live for you. You got to break out of this cycle. Okay. Well. And make Christmas your own. Break out of the cycle I'm writing? Oh, I'm sorry. No, that must have confused yeah, you. I, no, break. I do, do you want me to break my bike? No, no, no. Break out of the loop. I, okay. is, I use cycle as a synonym for the loop gotcha. being the cul-de-sac, okay. but I understand that is confusing because yeah, you it's, were riding a bicycle. It was mixed messages. I understand that. So, what do you say? You're right. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck the world. Go, kid. Yeah, Fuck run the out. World. Run out of here. I'm going to do it. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to cross yeah, the street. Go. I'm going to cross yeah. the street. Yeah. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> so, yeah. I like your glasses. Thank you. Yeah, they're new. Um, I got them at Lenscrafters. Lenscrafters. In your local Walmart. Are they the ones that are sometimes in Walmarts? They could be. I don't. I wouldn't say they're not, but I don't. Most. I go to the one at the mall. <laughs> Got you. I find it very odd that Walmart has stores within it. Stores within stores. Yeah, isn't that weird? I mean, yeah. Do you think they're Walmart employees? No, they can't be though. Probably not. No, because they like rent out spaces within Walmart to what, stores. Like, what other company has that? I mean, we. Yeah, when gonna... you think of clothing stores that have different brands, except for like. Hey, welcome to Nike. We only sell Nike. Isn't that kind of similar? It's like a little mini. I guess, but like store. in Walmart, they're like very distinctly like they have a sign up. The employees different cash wear different, registers. Yeah, different yeah. cash registers. It's like a different store. I wonder if there's any other place like that. I can't think of anything. I guess maybe you could say IKEA because they have like food places. But even that, I think that? that's I think that's all. Even that's IKEA. like owned by yeah. IKEA. The Swedish man, they have it figured out. Oh, I love the Swedes ish. Swedish Swedish fish. Have you ever fish. had Swedish fish? I love fish? Swedish fish. Those are honestly such a great candy. I'm not, there's nothing like spectacular or different about them except for they just taste damn good. Yeah. They're Get it right, good. candy. Just taste good and we'll eat you. That's all you got to be, candy. You don't have to pop in our mouth. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything melt in our taste hand. good. Just taste good and we'll eat you. Please. Just try harder, candy. Trick or treat. 
Oh, look at this, Barbara. <laughs> oh, Charlie, he looks so cute. <laughs> Chicka -chicka. What are you supposed to be, buddy? I'm... I'm a basketball. Oh, <laughs> basketball. Yeah. Oh, you used to play around with those, Charlie. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> All right, Tuck. Um, uh, pick, pick, your little, pick your little of the candy. Okay. Um, Can I have those red ones? Oh, the red ones. Yeah. Uh, why, why the red ones? They just look fun. Oh, the red ones look fun, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I bet they do. Until they scalp you. What? Yeah, why don't you choose wisely next time? Why don't you choose these nice... White candies. Oh. Did he choose the white ones, sweetheart? Oh, he's going to, honey, don't you worry. Oh, don't you're you want to have the white candies? You're scary and giving me bad racist vibes. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't I'm just a child, so I don't get get it oh. exactly. But it seems to me that you're making some sort of comment alluding the color of the candy to particular races of people. I'm not making anything as as long as it's not colored at all. Oh. Okay. So why don't you pick again, huh, sport? Trick or treat. <laughs> oh, look who it is. It's the basketball boy. Hi. Take your pick. Trick or treat. Oh, um, just wait your turn. I'm a head. soccer ball. Uh, oh, can I have the red ones? No. Unless you want to get scalped. You're a weirdo. What is everyone with the fucking red ones? I don't understand. Chicka cheat. How do you? Hello. I'm a hockey puck. Oh, look at you. Why, mm. why is everything sports memorabilia? I'm a hockey puck. I, okay, and, and uh, take your pick. Which I want one? a red one. What the fuck is it with the red ones? Bad words. No, it's not a bad word. It's Chicka just cheat. a. Uh, let me guess. Tennis ball? I'm a baseball base. It's a fucking. <laughs> Baseball base. But my mom sucks at costume making. Oh, yeah, you look, so like, a look like a tennis ball. I look like a tennis ball. You look like a tennis no, ball. I'm I see sad. now that you're just grass stained, not green. Hey, tennis ball's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. I'm a hockey puck. Okay, we understand. <laughs> what what candy do you all want? Hockey puck. No, you're just saying what you are. Hockey that's, puck. Okay, get the, get the fuck out of here. Oh, ow. Don't I'm, flick I'm, me. Yeah, that's right. Ow, stop flicking that's me, sir. That's right. Get out. Ow. Yep. Ow, ow, you ow, two. Ow, ow, all ow, of you. Ow, out. Ow, out. Ow, out. Ow, Man, people really need to look at what they're doing they're crossing the street it's really dangerous i Very always dangerous. say look both ways but also don't yeah i mean how are you gonna know unless you fail yeah you gotta learn somehow you gotta learn somehow you gotta learn somehow so you you did a musical recently? Yes, that was actually one of the that songs. That was a little, a little, from the musical. little taste of the music. Of the music. We can only do a small clip because anything more is copyright. Yes, yeah, but I do have one more clip. So okay. yeah, this song it's a duet between two wonderful, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> two wonderful characters. Their names are Geraldo and Robert. And we changed them to those names just yes. for just for protection of the show. Protection of the show and the actors involved because the actors actually shared the names mm -hmm. with the characters and I don't want to hurt them. Yeah, yeah. It's a it was a very private show. Right. Yeah, very private. So this scene takes place in Robert's bedroom mm -hmm. and Geraldo is sneaking in because they want to play some board games at night, but their parents are super anti-board game. Very anti-board yeah. game. Yeah. Just so you guys have the context of the scene because it, it plays a big part in the whole story. It really does. Of the musical, but we can't say what it is. We can't say. Oh. Robert. Okay, yeah, shh. Robert. Okay, yeah, quiet, quiet. It's me. I know, it's... It's Geraldo. <laughs> it's Geraldo. Hey, Geraldo. Hey. hey. What's up, dude? Hey, Geraldo. I Hey, just keep it down. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Come, come on in. Come cool. on in. Oh, yeah, tight I, window. I know. <laughs> Squeeze I, me through. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I really gotta lose some weight. Yeah, I'm fat. It's okay, Geraldo. I know. I still, you're still my friend. Thanks, Robert. What'd you bring? I brought. Monopoly. 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 Oh, it's such a good job. I'm so excited to play Monopoly with oh, you, Robert. Shh, shh, don't oh, say too loud. My parents will oh, friggin' shit. flip, man. Do they know? They don't know I'm here, huh? Oh, holy crap! No. Oh, this is the craziest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Oh, Jeeber Niebers is. Jeeber Niebers is oh. the streepers, dude. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta keep it low, or else my my parents are gonna open a can. They're gonna open a can. Yeah, they're gonna straight can open us. Oh. Oh, ball. All right. 
Um, so let, let's open this bad boy, huh? Wow. wow. Monopoly. Oh. You know, there's uh, no one I'd rather be playing this with than you, Geraldo. I feel the same way, Robert. Really? Yeah. When I close my eyes, I see you standing beside me. When I open my eyes, I see you standing right by me. And together we work all day. And together we play all night. Cause it's you. And it's me playing, playing together, together. Monopoly. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I guess we will pass go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, sh- oh, sh- fucking shit. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fucking <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> I'm out. I bye, gotta go. Bye, Geraldo. No, no, no. Help me out the window. Go, 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Go, go, go. Wait before I let go. Huh? Oh. Monopoly. Ooh. Oh, such a beautiful yeah. beauty. And that was from the uh, from the Broadway show Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, such a it's a it's a very dramatic but it's a, touching piece. It's beautiful. It's about, <laughs> it's about all these kids in a in a world where board games are banned. Ugh. And they had to change all the names of the board games slightly to, to avoid Co- copyright. Copyright, yeah, copyright. And um, yeah, and it's also about and it, and it's sexual about this, discovery, yeah, of course, and and about these two boys who defy the town. Mm-hmm. And they teach it it's okay to play board games. It is. And that's the whole message is that we live in an electronic era and video games are cool now. I know. And I like I like Mario. Oh. But sometimes maybe you like Monopoly or Uno or Uno or the Ouija board. Which these are different games. It's not Uno, it's Uno. Uno. It's 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 actually the game Sorry, but it's called Uno. Uno. Oh no. Uno is actually called Dose. Uh, Dose, yeah. So Yeah. Man, copyrights <laughs> freaking suck, man. Copyright is lame and I don't believe it in. That's why I pirate everything I own, especially the Bible. Um, yeah, okay. You pirate the Bible? Yes. Okay. Fair. I mean, I don't want to pay for it, and I don't want to support any apps or websites that have advertisements on them for the Bible. For the Bible, so I pirate it. I have, I, why not? I have all of the translations. Every single one. Every single one. How many are there? Sixty-two thousand eight hundred fifty-eight. That's a lot of translation. Times ten Ooh. to the eighth power. Oh my god! Plus. <gasps> Additional ones that are made every moment of the day. Oh, I mean, every one is a new translation There's, of it, basically. Yes, it's true. And different interpretations. There are different interpretations. How are we ever going to get along? We really won't. Yeah. Because this is just one Bible. I mean, there's multiple Bibles. There's other there. equivalent there's, religious yeah, there's texts. There's not multiple Bibles. There's not multiple Bibles, but you know, there's the Quran. There's so many other things. I can't think of any. Oh, <laughs> yeah, me neither. So perfect. Uh, the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon. There's so many. All right, so uh, Andy, thanks for coming on to the show today. No problem, JC. Now, uh, obviously, by the time this comes out, you're gonna be long gone, so there's not really much anything to plug. But is, is there anything that anything that you want people to follow or find you on? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can like uh, me and Justin Kosiski's two man uh, improv sketch comedy duo at facebook.com backslash just and improv they recently just started a new web series called 60 seconds it's yeah, playing yeah. 60 minutes very hilarious Thank give you. it a watch and we're gonna share it of course every time you post one awesome but uh, and they can find you on Twitter. Find me at Twitter, Andy and Vega. I am not good at Twitter, but would love the follow. It's a dying app, anyways. It's and, dying. It's uh, dying. Instagram. 
Instagram, thing, Andy M. Vega. I think I'm Andy M. Vega on everything. You want to add me on Snapchat? Viva La Vega. Viva La Vega. Much Vega. cooler. Are you pretty active on Snapchat? Uh, definitely more so than other social media. Not story-wise, though. Just more like messaging. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I post more stories, I'd say, than I post anywhere else. Okay. And those are my social media habits. Oh man! <laughs> but yeah, definitely find him on uh, on the Facebook too, and and follow him on Just And. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then other than that, I mean, that's you in a nutshell. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, my place. You can find Robot Psychic on Facebook. Uh, I think that's all we have right now. <laughs> but um, go on and find us on iTunes. Give us a five star rating because this yes. is the best podcast you've ever listened to and if you're so listening good. this far you learned a lot about me and you had a lot of fun <laughs> and you might be the only person listening to this podcast so also- <laughs> uh you can find us on soundcloud uh Ooh. you but most of all find us on youtube where we post these videos just for you one person watching and um like it share it comment on it if you want to leave a suggestion for those scenes at the beginning you can you can give us those suggestions we'll take them nice and um other than that, I think we've covered everything. That's that good, to man. Cover. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I'm glad we did this. Yeah, for sure. All right. Good hanging, JC. Yeah, you too. It's, it, was, it was real. It was real. It hey. was fun. It was dope. It's funny what millennials can accomplish, right? Hey. Hell yeah. But that's that's the way That's the, the way the goes. wind chimes. That's the, the way. way that the dice rolls. Yep. Especially when you're playing. Monopoly. Monopoly.